second gas law we're going to look at is Charles's law. And Charles's law is what happens when the about the volume and the temperature. And in this case, we've got to keep the pressure the same. Okay? Got to keep the pressure the same. Now, what we're going to do is, as you can see, there's some flames under this box. Ooh! Which means the temperature's going to rise. But if we've got to keep the pressure the same, what's got to happen to the volume? Well, let's see what happens when we keep the volume the same and the temperature goes up. Ooh! E! Ah! E! Ooh! E! Ooh! E! Stop! 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 Well, what happened there was, when the temperature went up and the volume stayed the same, we bounced off the walls and we bounced off each other, which means the pressure went up, and that's no good. So what have we got to do to keep the pressure the same when this funny little flames tickle us from below? Have a guess. Well, the challenge was to try and keep the pressure the same while these flames tickle us from below. Now, if you've guessed that we need to increase the volume of this container, you were right! Look, let's start off in this normal sized container. Watch it as bouncing off the walls. Ooh, ee, ooh, ee, ooh, ee, ooh. Now, the Bunsen comes on underneath, but let's double the size of the container. Ooh, ee, ooh, ee, ooh. Ah, that did it, we kept the pressure the same. That was a demonstration of Charles' law. The volume being directly proportional to the temperature when we keep the pressure the same. See if you can remember that one.